guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to talk about something that I saw as a major trend in the drugstore yesterday when I was there. And that is faux mink lashes. Faux mink lashes are usually really fluffy. They can usually be worn multiple times. So they're usually a little bit more expensive than your typical one use, maybe three max cheap drugstore lashes. I've tried the Huda Beauty Samantha lashes, which are that faux mink effect. They're really fluffy and they have lots of different lengths in them. They just look really luxurious when they're on your eyes and they add that extra glamour touch. I was really excited when I saw that three different drugstore brands each came out with their own faux mink lash line. So these ones are the Eyelure Lux. These ones are called Gilded. They are the more fluffy, dramatic pair that they had. They had another pair that were more natural looking, but I have pretty full lashes already. If I'm gonna wear fake lashes, I want them to seriously look intense. Then I got the Kiss Lash Couture Faux Mink Collection. These ones are called Midnight. And again, super dramatic, fluffy ones. I think they had three other styles, and a lot of them were less dramatic. They had another pair that looked dramatic, but they honestly looked really similar to these. I could not figure out what the difference was, so I didn't get those. I just got the one. Then we have the Ardell Foam Mink, and these ones say that they have Invisiband, and they are the... 811 style. I decided to do like a drugstore duel, I think I'll call it, and battle it out, see which brand creates the best foaming lashes. I can tell you guys the price is $11.99, so definitely the most expensive were the eye lure. They come with an adhesive, so I think the other two did not come with an adhesive, so that's maybe why it's more expensive. The Ardell ones were $5.99, the Kiss ones were also $5.99. I'm just going to apply the lashes and show you guys what they look like. The makeup look I currently have on is just what I wore to work. I just got home from my shift. It's pretty much a neutral everyday look. I just threw on this Urban Decay 1993 lipstick because I wanted to add a little something. I wanted to do a simple look to show you guys how dramatic lashes can really change the look. I'm going to apply these lashes the same way I normally would and that is using my little bottle of Duo eyelash adhesive. The cap is missing so that's a really good look. And I'm going to be using a little pair of tweezers. Other than that I'm just going to use a little mirror to help myself apply them. And this is just um, Mary Luminizer. I think the first ones I try will be these Eye Lure lashes. So I think I'm just going to voice over this part, honestly, because my Nikon focuses really loud. I have it on continuous autofocus right now. So I won't be talking, I'll just be applying the lashes, and then at the end I'll let you guys know which ones I liked the best. <laughs> So I honestly could not have planned this, but the last pair of lashes that I tried on are my favorite. And they are the Kiss Midnight ones. The Eyelure ones, when I tried to apply them, I feel like the glue just went everywhere. And I've applied lashes like dozens of times, so I know 
how to put the glue on there, but it just like got everywhere. I don't know. They looked really cute once they were on, but they were really dramatic and the lashes literally hit my eyebrows. So I feel like those are good for like really, really intense makeup days. And maybe if you're like going out for every day, I feel like these ones are perfect. The Ardell ones honestly were not dramatic enough for me. They had that cat eye look that I like. Uh, that was all they had going for them. They were just really lacking volume. So usually Ardell wispies are my like go-to if I want to wear lashes but these ones just felt really not that great. I really liked the cat eye look but that was the only thing I liked about them and the Invisiband, the really thin band, actually made them really hard to apply. With the band being so thin it was so hard to apply the glue because you had such a thin surface area to apply the glue to that I felt like I just didn't get enough glue on there and it was hard to get them to stick because there was barely any glue. Honestly, when I started to look at the shape and really think about it, these Kiss Midnight Lashes, um, the shape is actually really similar to the Huda Samantha 7, which is the Huda lash that I own and really love. I just feel like they were made to look like the Huda Samantha lashes because they're really similar. I love that. They are only $5.99 and they have to be my winner. The Eyelor ones are nice and they are my number two. The Ardell ones are my number three. I just didn't like those that much. For me, as someone with big eyes, I really like to wear thick lashes, full lashes, but not so long and full that they're touching my eyebrows. I don't know you guys, like for some reason these are just perfect to me and it actually makes me want to try the other three Kiss lashes. Kiss lashes are definitely my favorites. They won the drugstore duel for the best foaming lashes in the drugstore and if more brands come out with foaming lashes then I will definitely give them a try as well. I don't know how many other drugstore lash brands there are besides Eyelure, Kiss, and Ardell unless I'm forgetting one. Leave me a comment and let me know which ones you think looks the best and disclaimer I'm not a professional makeup artist. I don't wear lashes every day or even like once a week. I wear them pretty rarely. Please excuse if the lashes weren't applied perfectly. Um, I'm sure someone will probably be like, oh well you didn't apply that one right. Well yeah, that'll happen when you're applying three pairs of lashes in like half an hour. So yeah, but I really love these Kiss lashes. I want to leave them on, but it's like 11.30 p.m. So really no reason to leave fake lashes on. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. I hope you guys are having a great day or night wherever you are, and I will see you in my next video.